This is a Meccano Auto reverse gearbox that I intend to use to drive the lifts in a model of the Eiffel Tower. Um, the actual gearbox you see here is taken from the Meccano number no. 10 model of the automatic gantry crane which has this same design. If I just briefly explain how it works, this handle here is the input shaft where the drive will come into the gearbox and this one here is the output shaft where the drive will exit to power the lifts. Now if I demonstrate it you'll see that as I turn the input shaft the output shaft is rotating in one direction which will make the lifts go one way and as I sort of continue to turn eventually when the lifts get to the top of the tower or whatever they will stop and there will be a brief pause and then they will automatically reverse and start the return journey of coming down the tower. Even though you can see I'm turning the input drive consistently in a clockwise direction. Now once again we've stopped because the lifts are at the bottom and now they're going back up. But all the time I'm turning the input shaft the same way. I'll just carry on till the lifts get to the top of the tower again. They stop. And down they start to come. Right, I'll briefly explain how this works. As you look at it, there's three shafts. There's the input drive shaft closest to me. What I'm going to call the working drive shaft in the middle. And the output drive shaft furthest from me. Now as I turn the input drive shaft you can actually see the middle shaft moving to the left and right to change the gear from forward to reverse. Um, at one end of the drive shafts you've got two gear wheels here which turn the motor one way and at the other end of the shaft you've got three smaller pinions which reverse the direction when they're engaged. Uh, the question of how they work, it all comes down to this worm wheel in the middle here, which moves this central lever from side to side to engage and disengage the different gear wheels. Underneath the worm drive, you'll see you've got a large gear wheel here, which is activated by the worm drive, and that moves this lever here from side to side to engage and disengage the forward and reverse gears.